Luther Zwingli Melanchthon. Nobody today believes that Martin Luther stepped so fully out in advance of all others that he could be said to have grasped the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Even Lutherans cut two of his 95 theses, but wishing to keep the number the same, they divided two others. All agree, however, that about the time of Luther, civilization took a step forward. Catholics are better Catholics today, and Protestants better also. Dr. Luther was the head of a Catholic college for the instruction of German youth for the priesthood. He had heard about the Bible, but like others for 13 centuries before him, he trusted in the decisions of the various apostolic councils of the church, the various promulgated creeds. These he believed to be biblical. But one day he chanced to see a Latin copy of the New Testament. His curiosity led him to read it. He was amazed at its simplicity. He wrote the Pope, suggesting the calling of a council to ascertain whether there had been a gradual digression from the Bible. The Pope did not take the suggestion kindly. Luther was branded a heretic, unfrocked, excommunicated. This treatment only convinced him the more of the difference between the Bible methods and teachings and the modern ones. He began to write tracts, which he scattered all over Germany amongst the comparatively few people then able to read in any language. Gradually, through much tribulation, the Bible became more prominent. Those holy, honest-hearted reformers only partially comprehended the Bible. Much of the smoke of superstition and bigotry still affected their mental eyes. Nor have we gotten out of the fog yet. Thank God, however, Bible study is reviving, influencing people of every denomination. Let us remember that only the few of old were able to read. A Bible cost a fortune. It was thought useless because of erroneous trust in bishop apostles and their creeds.